Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the City Skylines Beginner's Guide. Today we are going to be talking about thoughtfully expanding out your city. And so looking at our city, we can see on the last build, we built out this huge downtown with high density. And then over here, we have a little bit of suburbia, a bunch of single family homes and parks and neighborhoods and stuff with a little bit of a downtown kind of sprouting up over here. So what I wanna do, I want to expand out these three sections and I think we're gonna leave this empty right here because I really wanna turn this into conservation area for these ruins here. I think that it would be really fun for us to do like a park around this. And so I do want to create these grids in a more unique way. I don't wanna just do squares and then plop them all down. I wanna try to use a more thoughtful approach. And what I mean by that is something that's just a little more, I guess, organic, something that's not as planned. And so what we're gonna start off with first is this couplet that we have. So we're gonna grab a two lane, one way road. And what I wanna do is bring this out and it looks like, so we're gonna have to pause and we are going to delete just a section of this real quick. Let's go like right there. We're gonna turn it now. We're gonna come all the way down here. We're gonna keep going straight. We're gonna go all the way to like right here. And then we're gonna turn it again. And the reason why we're doing this is because it's gonna help break up the neighborhood a bit, but then it's also gonna give it some character. We're, we're not gonna do any zoning off of these roads. We're gonna turn it into a nice green space in the middle. And I think it's gonna be a really nice use of this land. And that's really where a lot of this kind of comes in is how are we going to utilize this land in a meaningful way? And I, I kind of want to connect these up too, but I want them to snake into this. So if we go ahead and grab this and then grab this as well, and then snake this around. And then if we go straight now, the problem here is gonna be matching this up. This is not gonna be super easy, but what we can do is just kind of eyeball it. So if we uh, go like right there, you see how those lines are flat on the dotted line? What it means is it's uh, following along with that. And we just wanna match this up. So that's actually pretty close and gives it a little bit of a uh, character again. And so now what we're gonna do, we're going to utilize a regular two unit road. And I want to come in here and again, utilize some different kind of grid. So I think we're gonna do a frontage road. So we're gonna go like right here. We're gonna come out and we're gonna go all the way across. And then we're gonna have this go straight. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna go out about like right here. We're gonna go out one and we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna go up again. We're gonna go like this. And the reason we're doing this is because it makes it so that we're not going to put any zoning on the couplet. And I feel like that's super important for us. So we're gonna do the same thing here, have this come up and then kind of wrap around. And we are gonna do a couple connections in here and you do have to be kind of careful with avenues like this because there's such a small distance between these two roads, you do tend to get backups in there. And so you definitely wanna be careful. But we're gonna go ahead and have this branch across and then we're gonna have it go into another one. We're gonna go all the way down and we actually don't need this road in here because it's just gonna drive traffic to that junction. So we'll go like this and we'll keep it like that, perfect. And so now we will come down here. Let's go ahead and bring this down. And I want it to turn. What I really want to get in here is some curved roads. I really want to just start using some curves and, and give it a more unique design rather than having it uh, all kind of look the same like we normally do. I really like curves. Like whenever I look at them, um, like European grids a lot, it's a, it's a lot more sporadic. And I think it just gives it a little more character than what you get with other designs. So, so we're going to come over here and we are going to grab this. We're going to do the same thing, kind of bring this across. And we want to kind of line it up with that road down there if we can. We can't. And then let's go ahead and cut this across where we can. Let's go straight here. Perfect. And then we can go straight there as well. And you can kind of see already that this is just creating a more unique layout versus having it straight. It's going to be, it's going to look really cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And so we are also going to expand off this section. We're going to have this come all the way across. Let's have this go like down here and then cut across. Then we'll have this go straight across. And then let's delete a little section of our rail line so that we can connect this up. And then let's have this go straight as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish off this road layout real quick. Okay. And so here is the road layout I'm thinking. And don't, don't worry. The reason why I chose to do this more sporadic look is because of the overall look when it's finished. I believe it makes it look a little more alive rather than just perfectly symmetrical. We're going to come back through and kind of clean up some of them though, because we still do want our city to look good. And so now I was kind of playing around with the idea of getting our underground road over here just to provide some access to this main collector. I think that that would actually be really good. So we have access right there. I was initially thinking right here, but I don't know if that would be entirely necessary. So now I was thinking way back here could actually be good. So if we grab this and bring this back, what we'll do is we will grab our road again, go like this, and then just have this turn up. And then we're going to utilize a four unit road. 
and we will have this go right here and then we're actually gonna have it go underground and then we will have this cut all the way across okay so i connected it up and i went ahead and did it, our tunnel from right here went all the way across and then connected it up down here and it was kind of difficult to get this going we definitely have a big dip in here and because the way that the game works you just have these uh these dips without mods it's really hard to get that right uh, terrain in this game can definitely be a challenge and so now that we have this let's go ahead and look at our transportation so i know i have that underground line that we did not utilize on this last one going this direction so we have it coming all the way down here what i was thinking is i'd really like to get this kind of snake around and maybe come up here and then go down this middle but then we also have this above ground that goes right here and i think to save taxpayer dollars it would make a whole lot of sense for us to just add in a couple lines or maybe even add in a big station like right here so if we went ahead and deleted just a portion of that let's bring a road across so let's grab this have it go all the way up and see if we can get one of our kind of bigger stations in here something that's going to look nice so let's go like right there so we should be able to just connect this up and then connect this up and we are a little bit off i kind of want to i'm going to shift that up just just a bit i don't need to do a lot but it's going to bug me if it's not lined up and so let's try to figure out now we want to do something cool with this I want it to be, you know, a centerpiece. I want it to have some shopping around. I want there to be some park amenities. So I want this to go right there, right there. Let's go ahead and bring one right there as well. Let's have one come over here and then let's um, make this into the new shopping mall areas. And then let's grab our district wood heights. We're gonna choose shopping malls and let's figure out some plazas and stuff to put in here as well. Cause I want to, again, turn this into a really nice area. Maybe we'll go like that, go like that. And then let's, so we got that. Let's put another one right there. And then let's go ahead and put another one on the other side as well, go like that. And then let's put a couple on these corners too, we'll go like this. And then I think we're gonna leave that blank. No, you know what, let's, um, let's fill that in. Cause I like having the, the rail line go right next to the buildings. I think it looks really cool. And then that way what we can do is we'll grab a pathway and we'll go down to ground. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping and let's go all the way across now. We'll go like this and then let's go ahead and copy that on this side as well. We'll go all the way across and this is just to provide access to these people. So now we're going to provide access to the road. We're going to go like right here and we're a little bit off. Ooh, nice. Perfect. And so let's actually bring this, we're gonna cut our zoning a little bit, but it's gonna provide us that much needed accessibility right there, fantastic. And so now I think that's actually gonna come in really cool. We have our line in there. Let's go ahead and add in our new line while we're here. So let's grab that, grab that. And then let's start looking at that underground line now. So if we grab this, so we have this line right here, we really wouldn't need to do too much. Maybe we'll go ahead and put this like right here and then let's have it come up here and curve around and maybe go right in the middle it is kind of closer to the other line but this would be um more thorough so this would be more of like your transfer line and this one would be for more like local stops even though they both would be uh, immensely expensive projects so we'll go ahead and bring this across let's um go into freeform go like this it looks like we may need to go underground a little bit nope we're actually pretty good so it looks like we're at a pretty good height I was thinking we were gonna have to sneak it around because of that tunnel, but it looks like we're not gonna have to. Looks like for this section we may need to. So we're gonna go down just a bit and then let's go ahead and connect this up. Let's make sure that our uh, hill over there is not too bad. So, I mean, it's uh, not great, but I would like to believe that it wouldn't be as steep as it looks. So maybe let's go ahead and redraw that and see. Again, terrain is one of the most difficult things to deal with in this game, especially in the vanilla game. Um, whenever you're dealing with mods, uh, you can come back with things like Network Multi-Tool or uh, other great mods that just allow you to not have to deal with stuff like this. So that's actually a lot better, perfect. And so now what we can do, we could either have this be one big line or we could split it up into two separate lines. I think doing one big one it would actually be good because then they don't have to worry about the station. No, you know what? Let, yeah, look, we're gonna drag it. So we're gonna go all the way back now. We're gonna go right there. And then what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and create stops in here. We can always come back and kind of play around with this. We definitely need to play around with some of our Metro lines. Like um, I was looking at our busiest one and it could definitely use some improvement. We may even shift some of it around today. Nice, and so now we have extended that out. We have Metro right here. Metro going all the way across. We don't have anything over here, which is definitely a bummer. We have this whole section of the city that just doesn't have anything. And so what I'm thinking is let's extend out our tram line. So we have tram access coming all the way down. Let's maybe grab one of our couplets here. 
So if we do a one-way tram road and have it come back from this road, so we can go all the way down and then let's go into a larger, I believe we're using the four lane. Yeah, we are, so four lane with bicycle access. We're gonna go ahead and go right here. Let's upgrade that. Let's go above ground. We don't need to be underground. Go like that. And then we did kind of mess up one of our roads here. So let's go ahead and switch that back before we forget. We definitely wouldn't need that. So we'll go ahead and go like that. So now we have tram line access for this whole section and it's gonna tie into our stop over here, which is fantastic. Let's actually draw that in before we uh, get ahead of ourselves. So if we go ahead and create a new line and then have it come up here, yeah, let's um, let's have it stop at these lines because those are good transfer opportunities as well. So we'll stop that right there. And I think we're actually gonna move that because we want it to be a little bit closer to our Metro stop in there. So then now let's come down here, have it go right there. And then let's just complete that right there. And then let's move this one over just a little bit. Let's go right there. Cause we want to be able to provide that transfer opportunity for that station. And so now we have coverage over here with a tram. We have Metro coming up all the way over here. And then we have above ground Metro hub that we built right in the middle. I think that is fantastic. And so now let's look at our services. We definitely need education based off of the last episode. We're still kind of struggling with elementary. So I wanna to try to probably get two, because so we have one, two, three, and then we have a big one. If we get two in here, I think we might be able to balloon up our elementary school availability into a good place. So let's grab this high capacity elementary. All right, so let's go ahead and find a good location for this. I'm thinking, you know, right here's probably good. Cause then what we can do, let's go, let's do the high capacity high school across the street. All right, so now that we have that, I also wanna do a library. And so I was kind of looking at this spot back here, but I really would like to get maybe a little bit smaller, maybe even a ground. So if we grab this, have this come across, let's put the library right in there. And then we can do like a nice uh, opening in the front, just make it, you know, do some trees and stuff, make it look good. That just fits a little bit better. It does kind of mess up the road layout here a bit, but I'm not worried about it. This is all going to be residential. Let's do a high school and gymnasium like we always want to do. We want to do that right there. And then a playground. Those are our givens. So we definitely need a playground and a high school gymnasium in pretty much every school that we do. So we'll grab this. We could do a large playground. I think that would be good. And now let's look at some of our sports since we, we know we want to incorporate the new sports parks in here. We definitely want to get a couple. I don't think we're going to get a lot, but we'll definitely get some. So we'll grab that. We'll just do baseball in here. I think that's going to be good. And I do wish that we could put more. Maybe the school district's trying to save money on this build or something. We're going to do basketball. Let's do basketball across the street as well. So we'll do two basketballs. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'll probably just do a fence around and then do some trees and stuff to kind of tie it in. And voila, I think that is a fantastic looking little school area. So we have one. Let's go ahead and get a second one over here. And I think I'm just going to do the same thing, but I want to add in maybe a couple more sports parks. So maybe let's remove this. Let's turn this into a nice little sports field over here because then we can grab our schools, our elementary off of this side, and then let's do the high school off the back side. So maybe they're like on opposite sides. I think that that's kind of cool. So then we'll do our um, gymnasium right there and let's do the playground next to this one. So we'll go right there. Fantastic. And I think we could even do a road just in the middle like how we had it, but we're not going to have it branch across like I did before because I really want to get Let's do this the small soccer field. Let's do the suburban cricket. So we got the suburban cricket and we got the soccer or football, uh, whatever you call it. I think that looks good. And then we can um, do our basketball courts in here as well, just to, you know, again, get those sports amenities in here and voila. And then just do some fences around the outside, clean this up, make it look a little bit better. And you don't need to get crazy with this. You know, I'm just trying to really make it look good. A lot of times with detailing, you think, oh man, it's going to take a lot of time. And you really don't have to do that much. Like whenever you back out and you look at your overall city, just the little things tend to add up. So like if we just place a couple of these tall barrels in here, just go like that, kind of bring this across, go into that corner. And then let's go ahead and do just a little, actually, you know what? I was going to do foliage, 
but this would probably be used as uh, grounds for the schools. Like maybe this is what they run around and stuff for, for PE or something like that. And then I think for over here, we'll probably leave this empty for right now. Maybe we'll put in a park a little bit later. I wanna wait till we kind of get this to build up a little bit. And so moving to our middle section now, so we have two schooling areas, which is fantastic. We can move to our park area. So let's go ahead and paint all this in. And if you guys remember, we did um, something like this for our other little ruined area. We um, we definitely didn't save a lot of it. We only saved this little bit, but we ended up getting the technology museum and the science center and people can kind of walk up the front. And I actually thought it was a really cool touch. I liked it a lot. Um, some people felt like we definitely could have done more, but um, I thought it was still a success. So let's put a fence around this first. So I wanna do the park fence, bring this all the way around. Maybe this is like still an active archeology span site and so they protect it from people kind of messing around with it, which I think is smart. A couple of the real life um, like archaeological sites that I've seen are kind of like this. I remember being in London. They have one at the London Museum where um, you look out this window off onto an old piece of Roman wall. And I thought it was really cool. It's actually one of the things that I think about a lot whenever I think of ruins. Um, I really like museums and stuff like that. And so anytime that I see something um, in real life that's like ruinings or anything like that, I just, I really enjoy like seeing the history of it all and stuff. So now we'll bring this down. Let's go ahead and connect this up. Let's bring these across and let's actually turn this into a paid park. So maybe uh, they use the proceeds to fund the archeology span or the, the findings in here. So I think that, that could be good. So we'll go like that. And then let's build some parking. We'll grab our parking, go all the way down, go like this, fantastic. And so now we have, I mean, quite a bit of parking. That's probably a little bit more than I was initially planning on, but, and so now we will go back to our park area. If I can, yeah, go like this. Let's do, per oh, so we wanna do side gate. Let's go ahead and go right here as well. And then let's go like this. And it's kind of funny, we actually don't have um, too many paid parks within the city. It's not something that I typically build. And I know I've said it a lot. I say it almost every time that I build one of these. I'm like, you know, I typically, I don't believe in paid parks. Like I, I think it's kind of weird that the park life DLC is a whole paid park model because in real life, these would be, you know, funded by like the city or something like that. But in this case, because we do have the, the ruins, maybe this is actually protected by like, you know, a historical society or something like that, which probably would end up charging you to help fund its proceeds and stuff like that. So now we're going to go ahead and build a fence going all the way around, go all the way around this, go like this. Fantastic. And we will bring this across and let's do the same thing here. And there we are. So now we have the bulk of our park set up. I do want to have um, some areas like maybe we're going to do a little restaurant. We want to have some walking areas for people to kind of hang out you know bring the family maybe you're doing a picnic or something nice with the family something like that i mean because a lot of these times you know places it's kind of built around families and making days out of it you know learning probably would be field trips that would happen here but now that we have that let's uh do some plazas so we're gonna do a plaza right here we're gonna do a plaza right there and then let's go ahead and do one off of this side as well and it's so funny i am connected that up without having an entrance so i'm you know so i'm just so used to not doing entrances on these i didn't even didn't even think about it so we'll go like that and then let's reconnect that now because that was a pretty important connection perfect and so now we have four plazas let's look at our little cafes and the goal with these we're gonna you know enshroud them in little bushes and stuff we're not just going to plop them out i mean that's one of the things that i think kind of looks awkward with this game sometimes is the park areas and so what i normally do is just try to put trees around it and kind of build it up kind of fill in the spaces especially with these little gazebos so you can place the gazebos around and then make sure to change colors too because it does help it to look uh, a little i think a little more natural maybe i'm wrong though um, let me know what you guys do if you just keep it all one color or not. Now all I'll do is just do some trees around. So I'm going to grab those tall burials because they're kind of like a privacy tree too. So we'll have these go all the way across. So like as you're driving by, you would know that this is like the conservancy or the, you know, archaeological society. Now that we have that, what I'll do is just grab a mixture of trees. So I'm going to do these live oaks and I'm just going to do one of each. And the reason for this is because I, I feel now, you know, my, my style's definitely shifted a little bit over the years. I used to just do clusters of one tree like I, I did in this series quite a bit. I think it looks a little bit better now if you kind of mix up your trees a bit and, you know, move them around. So if we go like that, now we'll grab this other tree. They don't have to be right next to all the other trees. You definitely want to leave some. And voila. So I ended up putting in some rocks too. Did those uh, little purple bushes. And I think this overall looks really good. Go ahead, let me know what you guys think. Uh, now I want to move on to 
regional parks. We definitely need to get some parks within the, the neighborhoods. We definitely, we wouldn't want to just leave them barren like they are now. So this one actually looks good. So we're going to place that right there. I'm going to place that right there. I want to expand our libraries as well. We only did that one. So like I, I would definitely want to get one over here. Let's see if maybe we could get that road out. I think we might be able to expand, extend this out. So we need to lift it up ourselves. It looks like go like this and then bridge it across perfect and then now we should be able to hey look at that nice fantastic and i think that's actually a pretty cool use of the space we'll come back through and do some more trees around there but then let's do so we have one right there and you can kind of see the sphere of influence let's get one back here so we'll go like that libraries is definitely something that i have prioritized in the city we have quite a few so if we go to public libraries you can see oh, there's definitely some gaps, but a lot of our city is covered. We didn't do a whole lot over here. We did the one. Looks like we definitely left a little bit of room. At least now our, our newer area is going to be a little bit better. We have 657 library users. All right, so now let's get some postal service buildings. So we'll come in here. Let's do a small post office. Let's grab this. We'll put that right there. Let's come back here as well. We'll put that on that corner. We'll come back here. Let's do right there. Perfect. And then let's look at our fire, police, and medical. Yes, yeah, so we're actually pretty good with these. I think we can actually just get away with doing clinics. So if we do that clinic right there, let's go ahead and unpause so we can let some of this start to figure itself out. Fire station right there. Let's do a fire station right there as well. And then police stations. We got pretty good coverage. We're going to do a police station back here. And I think that's actually probably pretty good for all of our uh, standard services, which I think is cool. We really didn't have to do too, too many of those. We do need to get some banks though. So we are going to, this is, is it all going to be high density. So getting um, these bigger ones could actually be beneficial. So we'll grab that. Is that a small bank right there? It is. So uh, yeah, let's move that. We, we don't really need that right there. So we have a small one right there, a medium one right there. Let's go over here and one of the things i mean in real life there's banks everywhere and you you normally don't see at least in las vegas where i'm from you wouldn't see a bunch of these kind of mid-rise ones but now i think um i do want let's get some child care and elder care we really don't have a ton of these and i think that this is something that we've definitely been overlooking so if we get let's get a child elder care right there and then let's get a child care right there and then let's put a little park at the end we're going to do a playground so that maybe like you're, you know, bringing your sick kid and you want to uh, kind of walk them around and stuff, you know, you, you want them to, you know, be happy. And so, and then what I'll do is just do something similar to what we did before. So I'll grab those burritos, kind of put it all together. And this would just be like a grounds for people to kind of walk around. And, and so we will grab some pergolas now. Let's do a little statue and then let's do just a couple rocks to kind of fill in the spaces. You know, if we go like that. All right, so we are now at a place where we can start doing some of our zoning, and I would really like to get in a couple points of interest in here. So what I'm going for here, I really want to go for walkability. And in order to do that, I want to have a pretty close proximity to shops for anybody who lives in this area. And so what we're going to do, I'm just going around and I'm basically going to put in low density commercial wherever we have open space, but also an area that we want to have even coverage for people and voila so we have left quite a few points of interest in here bigger blocks like these blocks in here we may still fill in some of them with more grids what i want to do let's see if we can fit in just a couple unique buildings because we still have quite a few that we haven't placed so let's do th this posh mall i really like this one i've used this in almost every city that i've had i think it's a great asset so let's go ahead and place this right there and then what we're going to do just to accommodate the drivers in the area, we're going to bring that across and let's do one of the newer parking garages. I think that would be a good asset to put in here. So place that right there just because malls, I mean, you, these would accommodate a lot of visitors. And so you having the parking would be good. Let's do the, the mall of moderation up here as well. I think that looks pretty good. And then we're going to do trees around it to kind of tie it in. So we got that square, we got this square. Let's see, so maybe we'll break this one in half and do some residential, go like that. And then let's do just some residences. And then let's go ahead and break this one as well. Maybe we'll even do diagonal roads. So if we go like that and then go like that. So because we have that there, we could turn this into an actual little shopping center. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go like this and I want to uh, make sure that that's 90 degrees. So we're gonna go like this. 
And then let's bring this across. Let's actually go across from the top first so that we can get it to be straight. So we're gonna bring this across and then we're gonna go down. And what I'm gonna do is go into our districts tool and we're going to extend out our shopping mall district. We'll go like that. And then let's do some residential right here. We'll go like that. Let's do some residential back here. And then let's actually have a path go across. I think we definitely need to do some more paths too. We, we didn't do a lot of paths for this area and you guys know that I'm really big on um, accessibility, especially with paths. So if we come in here and any of these, you know, dead ends or three ways, what I'm gonna do is have a path go across. And this really goes a long ways to promote people to actually utilize your paths. And you can actually get them in, in between these four by fours too, if you're careful. All right, and so we have paths going all the way across. I think this is a good time to actually hit play and to let this all start building in. A residential should really sprout up quickly. We have a pretty large demand. We'll kind of see, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna tank a bit. You can kind of see a lot of this is already sprouting in quickly. So now we have paths going all the way through. What I wanna do now is focus on this middle section. And so what I was kind of thinking, it'd be nice to do like a grand mall or to actually turn it into like a shopping center of some kind. The thing is, I, I really don't want it to be off of the couplet. That's the problem. Because otherwise the couplet's gonna become an issue. So it's kind of interesting looking at this, I'm kind of wondering if we could actually turn that into a pedestrianized road the middle one, that can actually be really interesting. So if we grab a pedestrian, let's just kind of play around with it and see. I think this is actually gonna work out really well. It is gonna funnel traffic to some bottlenecks as we don't really have a ton of access outside of this couplet. But I think this is gonna be a really unique look and it's gonna allow us to zone on that inside without fear of uh, turning it into just a crazy sized couplet. So we have a connection there, connection there. We don't have a lot of connections in other places. So this side has only one, two connections. Maybe what we're gonna do, let's turn these other sides. We're gonna turn the roads going into them into one way. So if we go like that and go like that, go like that, go like that. What it's gonna do is just allow people to at least get onto the roads. I think this is actually smart. So if we yeah, go all the way down, so then down here, they actually do have connections. There's quite a bit of connect connectivity, but then now up here, they can um, at least get onto the, gr the road grid, which would be pretty important. So now there's a connection right here. So now that they can get into the grid, we're not gonna cause a crazy bottleneck. And then let's grab our shopping mall. Let's actually, we're gonna do a different one. So we're gonna grab this, go all the way down. And I really like the shopping malls uh, DLC. I, th I think that it is a really fun. So we're going to do Linden District. We're going to choose shopping malls and I want to go all the way down, but I want to leave in space for us to, uh, I think maybe even put in some residentials. That could be interesting. So if we go all the way down and then let's grab, go back into our districts and we're going to choose residential wall to wall. These would be more like mixed use, but these are things that I definitely like Vegas has these where um, you basically, it's all mixed use, but you would live on top of the, the commercial center. And it actually, I mean, it's for walkability, it's fantastic, especially for these people. They're within walking distance of the school. Um, they have shopping right there, which is fantastic. I mean, they, it's really all around a, a great option for them. So then now we do want to remove these here in the middle. So now we'll get some commercial going on in there. Let's do a couple plazas just to give it a little bit of a land boost. And we actually do need to turn it into a pedestrian area too. All right, and so I'm just gonna drag that across since it keeps it in the same service area. And then I do want to expand out the service area because we're gonna really start having some trash issues if we don't focus on it at all. So now we are good. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see how those grow in. We'll really see that our residential demand just dropped completely. I knew it was going to, it's just because um how much we zoned out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit so that we can kind of see what we're working with with the buildings. And then we'll kind of come back and fill in some of the more spaces. The bigger spaces all right so the game has ran for a little bit now and you can see we have definitely gotten most of our residential to come in there are still some spots where we need to do some detailing or some plazas or walking paths something like that but we do have a bigger issue that we're facing right now and i'd already kind of touched base on it a little bit and that is garbage so we were already stretching this new community with uh, this little couple recycle centers and a waste processing complex that i'd kind of plopped down during my detailing time lapse but our real issue is, so we have a big complex right here, complex right here, complex down here, complex up there. 
we we don't have a whole lot for this area and so what we need to do we need to come over here and actually figure out a larger location because you can kind of see i mean these are already and so it says seven eight out of 19 six out of 19 these are having to go all the way down and this is causing an issue we may even need to put in a small one down there as well we are going to move a couple of these over let's actually you know we're gonna get crazy we're gonna demolish all this while it's paused and then we're going to redraw this in to be a little bit better so building is not empty. I can't do anything with that one. I can't even move it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it empty out. And then so it's actually full. I'm going to have it empty. And then we are going to move it. So we will go ahead and keep it paused because we need to at least draw in the rest of our facility first. Otherwise, we might start experiencing some, experiencing some abandonment. And then we will come back and move that building once we're able to unpause again. So I'm going to remove all these trees. And looking at this layout, I want it to be efficient. So I want it to hook up with this road and I want it to hook up with this road, but potentially a couple of the roads as well. And maybe we'll put in some offices or something to kind of buffer this zone, potentially even some trees. Some trees could probably be good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's go all the way down now. We have people cutting across right there, which we don't really need. And that intersection was a little bit too close to this. So I don't think we're going to redraw that one in. All right. So what I'm going to do, we are going to use a four unit road and we're going to come up about three and then we're going to go out on this one about right there and then we're going to grab that free form tool and we are going to curve this in we're going to go just like that fantastic and then we will utilize a two unit road so we'll come up here let's go ahead and go like right about there and then let's go ahead and go right about here and then we're going to copy this go all the way down come all the way up here and then we're going to curve this in and this is going to be like a little bit of a buffer zone we're going to put trees around the outside and just kind of clear it out a little bit so we're going to come up here and then we are going to connect that up. Fantastic. And then I do want this to connect up. We're going to have to wait till this building is able to, to be moved. And so let's go into our garbage facilities now. And I know I want to get a waste processing complex. That's like the big reason why we made this as large as we did. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to grab a road. We're going to have this go around. And it looks like I went a little too short. So I'm going to redraw that if we go like right there. Fantastic. And we're going to go like that. We're a little bit on a hill, so don't worry about it. It's just something that we're going to have to deal with in this area. And so now we want to go ahead and connect this up again. It will go like this. And then let's put in some recycle centers since we want to promote recycling. Recycling is good. And then we're going to put in a waste processing complex. Let's actually move these to the backside. And then we are going to utilize the waste processing complex. And I kind of want to see what uh, other facilities we have within our content creator packs as well, because I know some of these are... Uh, our garbage facility so eco-friendly incinerator plant and also the waste disposal unit so power generated i think this one's actually a big one and i i think this one's actually kind of big too let's place this down and look at it i haven't used this building yet so you know this is actually kind of interesting so maybe this is all owned by one company and they decided to get into you know eco-friendly incineration which actually can help out i mean you're getting rid of the trash and it helps to generate some electricity which could be good I kind of want to look at that other building though i haven't utilized this building in a really long time so i i actually i like the look of this one this one is a cool looking building so we could potentially even leave that right there i just think this might be a little overkill for this area because the problem is is i don't know how far these are gonna go you know we're gonna leave that there for right now and then we will unpause and see what kind of havoc we're going to uh, wreak on this place let's see if they start sending out a bunch of trucks so that has 34 trucks. This one has 38. So maybe we'll even remove the recycle centers. We could just do that. Problem is, I mean, the recycle centers really add something in here that I like. So maybe we'll just delete that. I do want to get some generic industry in here as well. We're not going to do a lot. We just really want to kind of fill in some of the spaces. So we're going to go like that. Let's go ahead and go like this as well. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift this down just one because I do want this to be lined up appropriately. So we're going to go right here and then we're going to go across and we will re-drop in that waste processing complex. Go like that. And it actually helps to kind of tidy up the space a little bit. So we'll bring this across now and then we'll bring this across. I kind of wish uh, out of the new parking lots that they had done just a standard one because I do like these. The problem is, is they have the, the landscaping on them, like that little shrubs and stuff. And I think for a complex like this, I don't know if you wouldn't have that though. It kind of looks like this has those. So maybe, maybe I guess you would maybe, maybe we'll, uh, let's see if we can move this over here. So we'll go like that. 
and then let's put in another one right next to it and see what it looks like. We're just kind of playing around with ideas here. I mean, it doesn't look like the end of the world. I kind of wish that it was over here. Yeah, you know, we're going to get rid of that because I'd rather have the generic industry in here. There's on-site parking, and so I don't think it would be the end of the world to have that. And then what we're going to do is actually just put trees around the outside to kind of give it a buffer because this would be a high... Uh, you know, waste area. So now we can go back to unpausing and see how we're working with our garbage. So we definitely pumped it up quite a bit. Let's see if we can now get some of these to come down here. We're looking for those little purple trucks. So we got this one coming down here right now. So yeah, even this area is kind of struggling. There's a little bit of brown in here. There's quite a bit of brown going through here. So our truck's still coming down here, which is actually pretty good. Maybe that facility is going to be satisfactory for this new area. So we went ahead and turned in there, which is actually pretty good. I think that this is actually going to work out. All we need to do is make sure that this empties and then kind of draw that road across so that we can connect it up. And then what I'm gonna do, I just wanna have some heavy foliage kind of going around. I'll probably just have it. I want it to look as natural as possible, but I want it to be a buffer. Like maybe this was all trees and then what they did was they decided to purchase it and then create a whole little uh, waste processing complex in here. And then that way for the residents and stuff, you're not really gonna be able to see it either. And that's really the big bonus to this. And that's what it's kind of going for is an area that's gonna shield the area from all this uh, waste in here. Cause it probably hurt land values and it really just wouldn't be great to have. You know, you're like showing your house and you look out the window and there's just this huge waste processing complex, especially like if you live in this high, high rise, you're still going to see it. Like they would probably come in and actually protest this new process, this new complex. And then let's see if we can put in a couple things of parking in here. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I kind of wish that backside wasn't as bumpy. I'm going to go ahead and remove this last one. Yeah, we'll go like that. At least now we got a little bit of parking in here. Not a ton, but at least some. And then let's do some foliage now to kind of fill in this space a little bit. We'll go like this. All right, so now that this has emptied, what we can do is actually just demolish that. And then we are going to demolish this road. And we are gonna go back to, let's utilize a small four unit road just to give them some better access in here. Let's go ahead and upgrade these ones to small four unit roads as well. And voila, now we have a nice little open space. We could do something with this space, like potentially put some small commercial on this corner. I think that could actually be interesting or maybe on here the problem is it's going to create some traffic with people turning in and off the lots in here i think what the better option would be would just kind of fill this in with more trees and we're just going to assume that the city did not just pay for this rock that it was already there and so i actually think that that looks pretty good i like the look of that a lot and i like the buffer zone that we create a little bit of a forest kind of going around um, creates a nice little buffer for it and i think this is going to be pretty adequate adequate for this area so now our garbage processing is way up. We should start to see some of this brown really go away. Again, though, we may need to do just a small complex in here. I think that would be really smart. So if we grab a small road, we're going to go ahead and have this shoot up. We're going to go like right here. We're at, you know, we're going to actually have it come all the way up here. We're going to go like that. And then we are going to utilize one of the waste processing complexes. Let's do some trees around. So I'm gonna do a buffer zone again, like I did before, but then I think for this square in the middle, we're actually gonna utilize it for something other than just trees. I'm thinking a park, it's just you would probably get some smells in here. So we actually haven't leveled up any of our parks. We have the climbing frame now, which is actually pretty nice. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna use these boreals and then the live oaks and kind of fill this in. And then I think we're gonna utilize a big park in here to that other side. So I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go like this and then we're actually just gonna have this have a buffer on the back side so it won't connect up on the back side and then i'm just going to do trees all the way around probably some bushes too to make it look a little bit better I ended up doing the trees kind of covering this back side this would still be in the pollution area but i don't think the waste transfer facilities provide a lot of pollution but these kind of do the recycle centers and so it, it does kind of suck but we really needed that to be in here to cover this side this facility is just a little too far and a lot of these buildings are going to suffer because of it. And this is actually going to help cover this area as well. So this would actually be a really good solution for this area. I actually like it a lot. And so now what we need to do, we need to look at some of our empty spaces and see what we're working with. So we're just going to do detailing around these two tunnels. We already have this huge park archaeological site in the middle. Let's, um, so maybe in here what we can do, let's go into a dirt road or dirt path. We're going to have this cut across. We're going to have this cut across. And then let's do a couple pergolas. And basically what we're doing, we're just trying to create some nice spaces for people who live in the area to go and maybe relax and 
kind of unwind. Maybe you're walking your dog here. Um, I've actually lived in an area like this where we had like a big uh, open lawn in the middle and it was, it was really cool. We used it, you know, to walk our dogs and, and it was a, a really nice experience. It's something that I do look back on like, man, you know, that was really nice to have and kind of took it for granted. And then I'll just do a couple little trees, nothing crazy. We, uh, just want to get something to provide some shade so that people can come out here, maybe read a book, uh, enjoy the day. Maybe it's a really nice day out, especially now that summer's definitely on the way. I'm super excited about it. The snow has finally melted. So we will bring this down, go like that. Fantastic. And that really just goes to show that you don't need to do a lot to make an area look good. And then for a lot of these small areas, I'm just going to do trees, fill them in. A lot of what I do with high density just create small walking areas. And then for this corridor, I'm actually gonna do a walkway. I want it to be really nice. So I'm gonna have a path coming down. We'll probably utilize a concrete path so that we can get a bike path in here. So we'll have this come down, we'll have this cut across. Let's actually have this go up. So we're gonna go like this and then have it go up. Let's go to our lowest steps so that we don't get a huge mountain in there. So we'll go up three. And then I think I'm going to have this cut across again because I really like the idea of having this kind of go up. I think that that is smart. Pedestrian bridges a lot of times are really nice to have. And it's something that, you know, you get uh, like walking corridors where you have uh, pedestrian bridges that I think are really cool. Basically, what I'm going to do is have this go all the way down and then uh, connect up with these paths. All right, so now we have a little bike network and I actually had to cut across our train line over here as well just to uh, provide some access over here. And I think that's pretty good. I actually really like the, the idea of that. In Las Vegas, we do have some pedestrian bike networks like that. They tend to follow the washes though, but they'll have pedestrian bridges that kind of go around. So like if you did want to uh, bike to school or something like that, you have a pretty extensive little network. Though it's only extensive in some areas. In other areas, it's not very, not very big. And voila, here we go. And it's kind of cool. As I was doing this, I was thinking about how in Connecticut, they actually have a program called Rails to Trails. And what they do is they take old abandoned rail lines and they turn them into pretty extensive bike networks. And I actually had the privilege of riding one of these one time. And it was, I thought it was actually really cool. Especially, I mean, you know, you, you, get, you got to think, I come from a city that doesn't prioritize pedestrians like Las Vegas. And so anything like that is just, I think, awesome. And so I'm sure that there are negative effects of it or negative outcomes. Maybe it wasn't done correctly or something, but I, I always thought it was really cool. Like, man, this is such a great use of the space. And so I think this looks really good. I decided not to go too crazy with it. I wanted to provide an area that was just nice to kind of go through, you know, provide access. And it looks like people are using them, which is fantastic. And so now we're kind of at a place where most of our spaces are filled in. We don't really have a lot of big gaps other than areas where trees need to come in. I'm going to have this be a corridor as well, probably do another pedestrian bridge going all the way down just to provide that much needed access. And so I'm going to jump into a detailing time lapse and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Thank you. 
Okay, so here we are, and I we did the bulk of the detailing during the episode. I primarily focused on trees, filling in these gaps, getting rid of those weird lines, like this right here, this jaggedness where you get the ruining. I really don't like it, so I end up putting in trees to kind of cover that up, and this is you know strategy that I commonly use. I put trees in the middle, and I, I think it just makes it look more realistic and more alive because whenever you get those weird little squares in there it just looks terrible in my eyes i did end up doing some pergolas and stuff here in the middle i did it in quite a few locations just to again provide that location for people to kind of walk their dog or maybe go sit after work or maybe if it's a really nice day you just kind of go out there and read a book and then for the rest of it just a lot of trees i ended up giving a buffer going all the way down the freeway i did these young lindens to kind of paralleling our uh, pedestrian road right here and then i did connect up our pedestrian road to a, a couple of the locations we didn't have them connected up to these three-way junctions so i put in a little path and it's kind of tough drawing those in so i just did them sideways which isn't ideal it definitely doesn't look the greatest but i i did end up adding in this huge uh, plaza right here and then adding paths around the outside to just give it a larger sidewalk kind of look I added in these purple bushes and overall i think this is a really nice build we already have some really tall buildings these are some tall office buildings we got some tall residentials and it's kind of funny i was looking at these these are definitely the newer residential buildings i'm not sure what pack that's a part of maybe the heart of korea or something like that but i really like the overall look of the new buildings and this really kind of gives us a, an insight into city skylines too the overall detail of a lot of the newer assets we're getting out of the content creator packs and and out of the dlcs so go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this episode. I think it is fantastic. I really like the archaeological site. This is really our uh, our centerpiece for this build. But we did a lot. You know, we expanded out our metro. We have that underground metro. We've provided a lot of access. We've bolstered our garbage collection facilities. And we've also expanded our education. And, you know, it's kind of funny. I think the only thing left we really need to do, we really need to work on our transportation a little bit, a little bit with optimization we need to go in and look at like school school buses and stuff like that school routes and so i think on the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to dedicate it to optimizing your city to, for transit and so go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this episode if you enjoyed it you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one